Hey, hey, Brian Sensei here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to manage your multiple displays and also how to extend them or duplicate them. Let's dig in. Okay, the first thing you'll want to do to manage your multiple monitors is click into your display settings. To get there, simply right click on your desktop picture and go to display settings. Okay, once you're in here, you're going to see your monitors. Here you'll see I have one monitor here and another monitor to the right. Here is what my two monitor setup looks like on my desk. Now, if I need to identify which monitor is number one and which monitor is number two, I can go ahead and click identify here and we'll see the number one pop up indicating that this current monitor I'm looking at is monitor one. All right, now down here it says extend these displays. Currently I'm extending the displays so that I can have different content on display one and display two. You can change this, for example, maybe you want to duplicate the displays so that they show the same thing. And here is what that looks like. Now with monitor one selected, we can now look at the settings for this specific display. So I can scroll down here. Here you'll see that monitor one is the main display. And what that means is that the main display will have your desktop icons and it will have the apps in your system tray. The other monitor will not have those items. Now, if you want the other monitor to be the main display, you can click on it and then you can check the box, make this my main display. All right, so back to monitor one, we have some other settings down here, and then we have detect other display. You may have just hooked up another monitor, but it's not showing up here in your display settings. You can go ahead and click on detect to force that detection. Under that, we have connect to a wireless display. So if you have, for example, a TV or a projector that has a wireless capability, you can go ahead and click connect here and get that connected up. All right, below that we have some brightness and color settings, but I wanna show underneath that the scale and layout. So for monitor one, we can adjust the scale. Of course, 100% is recommended, but we could switch this to 125, or 150. Let's see what that looks like. And whoa, everything got zoomed in. I mean, for someone like me who's got to wear glasses and you just want things zoomed in more, you can play with these scale settings. All right, back to 100. Now, underneath that, we have display resolution. These can also be adjusted. Look at all these options you have. Now these settings come into play, especially when you have a monitor with a different aspect ratio. Right now my monitor is 16 by nine widescreen, but you might have a monitor that's four by three or some other aspect ratio. So you can click on these different resolution options and make those adjustments so that you don't have any black bars across the top and bottom or left and right of your computer screen. All right, and then under that is display orientation. Now this comes into play when you rotate your monitor 90 degrees. If that's the case, you'll want to also come in here and switch this to portrait so that the display of your computer screen also rotates. All right, and then underneath that, we have advanced display options. Let's click into this. And here you'll be able to adjust the refresh rate. This comes into play if you have a screen that's flickering a lot. You might wanna come in here and adjust this to see if that cures the flickering. All right, going back, and I wanna call out that all these settings that we're tweaking down below are specific to display one. If I want to adjust the settings for display two, I'll need to click on display two and then come down and adjust those settings. 
So they each have independent display settings. Now, the final thing to look at here is the organization of your monitors. Now, when I move my mouse between display one and display two, I run my mouse off to the side of the screen to the right, and then my mouse will show up on display two. Now, what if your monitor is actually mounted differently? Maybe your monitor is mounted above monitor one. If that's the case, you're gonna to wanna to be able to move your mouse up when you move to monitor two. So to do that, you can simply drag and drop monitor two on top of monitor one, and then just click apply to keep these settings. Then your mouse can freely move up and down between the monitors. In my case, monitor two is off to the right, so I wanna move my mouse right and left, so I need this layout. I'll go ahead and apply, and there we have it. All right, and that is how you manage multiple displays in Windows 11. If you wanna see more of these videos, consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification button so you can be notified every time I post new videos. If you have a specific tech tip you'd like me to create, please let me know by completing the form in the description below. And I'll see you on the next one.